Hello, welcome to Roulette, Profit and Stop here on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for your time, thanks for your support. Um, I'm going to continue with this 30-day um, uh, series. I'm going to be using um, AWOL 6.9 Roulette tool, and that looks like this. AWOL 6.9, so basically what this is, is we're going to be inputting numbers from the history. As the ball drops in to, to a number, we're going to click on the number that lands from the grid on the tool. And that's going to cross off on the racetrack on the tool, that number, because it's landed. And we're looking at whatever's left that hasn't landed once we've crossed off 18 different numbers or more. And on this AWOL 69 tool, I've added in... When it gets to 18 unique number counts, it's going to put a green circle around the 18 so you know when it's time to look at if you can place bets or not. Um, that's the AWOL 69 tool. If you want to gain access to this tool or any of the tools from my website, check the link in the description. This is the website. So you've got a language um, drop down menu so you can select your native language, whatever you speak. Click on that and it'll expand all the different languages so select which one of your your language is and it'll it'll translate all this information on the website to your native speaking la speaking language um <clears throat> the first panel is about me and then the next panel is about the tools and how they run they run from your web browser so you know the tools work from your web browser so I use Chrome web browser, sometimes you use Firefox, sometimes you use Edge, but the tools run within your web browser and you can use it on a Mac or a Windows computer and um, you can use it on a desktop computer, a laptop, tablet, iPad, mobile phone. It works on any device, as long as you can, you've got access to the internet and you're using a browser to search the internet, which is pretty much what everybody has to do anyway. Um, it'll run through that browser that you're searching the internet on. So uh, all it is is a, is a link you click to boot up the tool in your browser, that's it, from this site. So the next panel shows you how to process an order or how I process the order. So what you do is you click the buy now button on the tool that you want to use over 30 days, 60 days or 90 days access and you pay via PayPal. Once you've paid via PayPal, I'll reply with an email to, with the passcode and the validation dates to your PayPal email address. So please check your spam and your junk folders because my email to you could end up in your spam or your junk folders on your emails. Um, once you've received my email with the passcode and validation dates, um, come back to this website and now you're looking for this green button that looks like this. Click here to use this tool. So the tool that you've purchased, you scroll down the list here. So if you've, if you've purchased one of the tools uh, for 30 days, 60 days or 90 days, you can, you can quickly get to it by looking at the roulette tool comparison list here. So whatever tool you've purchased, say it's the missing section. In fact, say it's AWOL 69, which is good for inside bets and single zero tables. If you click the, the actual name, it goes straight to it, which is here. Each tool's got a, um, a YouTube tutorial on the header. You can click each tool's header, and that'll take you through to a YouTube tutorial on how to use them. Um, but once you've purchased, you click this green button here on that panel. That boots that tool up. You agree to the terms, and then you just input your passcode, and that's how you gain access to the tools. It's the same for all the tools, apart from anything that you... If this Mind the Gap, you can buy that outright. The fact it's a file download, you download the file, extract it, open up the double click on the internet file, and it boots up in your browser. And you, you can have full access to that. It's a single file download, it costs six pounds only. That's a buy now, one off payment, and that's it. <clears throat> um, you've got access to free tools and free ideas as well. Make sure you check those out. Check out my testimonials from other people that have used the tools, see what they have got to say. And that's my website. So now, I'm going to bring it into the sheet, and where I'm at at the minute. So this sheet um, is, 
is showing what's it showing? Let's have a look. Hmm. I'm two hundred and thirty-one pounds fifty two thirty-one fifty-six profit to date so far, which is pretty good over sixteen days. Um, I've input, well, I've deposited twenty pounds in each of four casinos, and I'm keeping that on for sports betting. This last one, that's why I've got that one set to zero. So here we go. Table number one. Let me bring it into that. Uh, I'll get rid of the sheet. We're going to jump on a table. I'm going to play speed auto roulette because it's fast. And just so I can speed up the process of this. I'll mute it for now. But 10p stakes. I've got £20 in the bankroll. And airball 69 click to play so this is the betting criteria look for three or more connected numbers and bet a maximum of nine numbers or a minimum of six now these are like a guide you can bet on more than nine numbers if you want uh, but sit between six seven eight or nine numbers are looking to bet on because that gives me chances uh, if I miss on my first second or third I, I can play at the same stake I don't have to increase it that's why it's between six and nine um, <clears throat> me. you've got a unique number count here when that gets to 18 there'll be a green circle around it to show that you've got to 18 which is what the trigger is and but that has to be in conjunction with this as well uh, but anyways so I'm going to input the history of numbers from right to left into the tool so 15 30 29 16 uh, 23 1 so all these numbers are different at the minute, which is really good. Because you want all different numbers. Then you can cross them off on the racetrack. So when I click 20, watch that get filled in with a yellow with a white circle with a cross on it. There you go. And that counts uh, that adds up. So five, that's another one. Four. I've already uh, number four click. Uh, number twenty nine. I think twenty nine I've already clicked, yeah. So I've had thirteen different numbers land so far. Now fourteen. So we're looking, looking for three numbers in a row that have not hit or greater. So look, 13, 36, 11, that would be a bet. We've got 31 to 18, that's four in a row, that would be a bet. 7 through to 3, that's five in a row, that would be a bet. We've got 21 to, to number 6, that's six in a row, that would be a bet. But we don't want to bet on that many numbers total. The total amount up exceeds the 9. So we're waiting for this to get to 18, then we're going to see what's been crossed off and where it's crossed them off and what's remaining basically. We want to see what's remaining. We want to be covering bets. We want to be betting on numbers that have three in a row or greater, but don't exceed nine numbers total. So three, we can get rid of three. That's gone. So that leaves four there. So if I count up all the numbers that are three in a row or greater, we've got one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 numbers that qualify because the three or more connected numbers, but we only place bets when this gets to 18. So that's going to get rid of some more numbers. So two more numbers to get rid of. Hopefully this is making sense. So you, you basically, once the you get to 18 numbers crossed off, you should have either about nine numbers 10 numbers or 11 numbers or less that you can bet on there's number seven that gets rid of another number so we've got three numbers there we've got three here that's six then you've got one two three four there that's ten and then you've got one two three four five six there which is 16 numbers that's too many so we need to keep crossing numbers out <clears throat> so we've only got <clears throat> so we've only got uh, a few numbers 31 that's another number right 18 there you go so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 numbers right I've crossed off 18 different numbers but I've got 15 numbers still that I can place bets on but it's above that 9 which is too many so I'll get rid of 32 it's another unique we want to get rid of some of these numbers here Ideally, we want to get rid of the 17 and the 25, or 
9, 22, 18, 28, 12, 35, 13, 36, and 11. So if any of these numbers with the th groups of 3, 36, 22, or 12 neighbor, if one of those hits, it gets rid of three numbers. Because we, we can't bet on numbers. Uh, there you go, 34, that's good. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 numbers now. So we're getting closer to placing a bet. Um, go down to neighbours of one on the racetrack. We're getting closer. So if I get rid of the two or the 25, then I could bet on the 22, 12 and 36. Number three again. So if it, if it hits two or 25, that gets rid of all those four numbers. And then I can bet on these three, those three and those three, which is nine, which is the perfect amount of numbers to bet on. So 25 or two, get rid of that. Then we're good. Hopefully it's going to hit 25 or 2. 12, right, that gets rid of that set of numbers. So 3, 6. I'm going to bet now, actually. 36, 22, and then the 25 plus the 21. There you go. So I've done 10 numbers because there's 3 there, 3 there, that's 6, and there's 4 here, that's 10. That's, you know, just 1 over the maximum. So I'm doing all the numbers that have yet to land. 35, that's another... Number that's not yet hit until now. So repeat the same bet, same stake. So I'm looking for 22 neighbour, 36 neighbour, 25 neighbour, plus the 21. Second bet, flat rate. Third bet will be a flat rate. First three spins are flat, fourth bet's a double up. This is AWOL 6-9. 32, naughty naughty. Repeat, third bet. So now my next bet will be a double up. And I'm looking for 22, 36, 25, never, and 21. This normally hits really early on and you get into profit quite fast, but it's a little bit of a bit time consuming this. Number 10, that's another new number. So now it's a double up. And this is likely to hit on this spin. So this is like hitting on my first spin of a hit on this spin, and that's my target, and that'll be a stop. <coughs> so if you're covering 10 numbers um, and you hit on your first spin you get to profit and that's a stop and then I'll switch casinos but here we go where's it going to go 26 that's a miss so I'm just going to repeat the bet and add the numbers again oh shit it's speed roulette I've only got half of them covered I've got up to um, 18 covered. Hopefully it's 22 or 18 that hit. 13. I've got that. Boom. That's what one I increased on as well. So that'll do it. That was lucky. I got that bet and I, that's put me into profit. So that's 13 hitting up there. So boom. Job done. That is it. So now I'm just going to put in the sheet 2320. Hit on my number. But you want to limit how many spins you give that, because you could be chasing that one. As with any tools, but £3.20 profit, I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do in the background is just log out of that. But before I log out of it, I'm going to withdraw the whole amount of that money. So I'm clicking on the accounts, withdrawable funds, 23, 20. Withdrawing the whole amount, withdraw. Now that's back into my account. Log out of that. Once I've logged out, we switch to do a different casino, and we do it again, basically. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> I'm just logging into the new account. Got a bit of a cough today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm, excuse me. So, live casino. So, I'm just going to ch choose a table to log into, and then make sure the OBS is functioning properly, and it shows... Table I'm joining, where is it? Why can I not see it? What was that? Hang on a minute. All I'm doing in the background is finding the bloody table. I'm sure they switched these around on purpose just to make sure they're in. Right. That. Double click. Holding up. Here we go. Table number two. 
So this is immersive roulette. We'll give this a blast. It's 20 pence per number. So we're going to input the history of numbers into the tool from the table. So we've got 16, 14, 16, 14, 22, number 17, number 1, number 5, number 2, 28, number 2. In fact, I should have gone further back in the history on this because this is going to take a while to get this to get to where I need to be, to be fair. Well, I've got seven more numbers to cross off. As it stands at the minute, we've got all this range of numbers here and all this range of numbers here. So 12 through to 21 and 34 through to 23 that I've yet to hit. Everywhere else, I can't bet because there's less than three numbers in a row. But I only bet when I've got 18 numbers crossed off anyway. So here we go. Put it down to neighbours by one. Which is probably going to be that anyway. Is that loud? That is probably loud, isn't it? Number two, that's already landed. You can click it, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> so we're looking for all individual unique numbers that have yet to land so when i was doing my testing on this particular tool the awol 69 tool which is what i'm using now um i found that um 18 numbers being crossed off was the sweet spot i did test it with um i went down as low as um i started off with 10 i think as the lo lowest but i found out very early on there's too many numbers left like it's showing here look at this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 19 numbers there. It's too many. So I did it on a te I tested on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think 15 was a good setup to begin with. And then I found out 18 was the, the sweet spot. So if you cross up 18 different numbers, typically you're going to get to a position where you can bet where you've just got groups of three numbers together that have yet to hit and it gives you nine numbers total or maybe 10 or 11 and you can bet on those uh, on a flat rate for a couple of spins and then hopefully do the business within a few spins so yeah let's find out if we can get a win on this this is table or casino number two casino number two we're going to be placing bets at 20 pence stakes so this will be a decent return if it hits early on which i'm hoping that it's going to do and um i've got two more casinos to do after this one so the next two casinos i'll show you how to speed up this process because this is going to take quite a while to get eight seven seven more cro crossed off to be fair shouldn't take about six minutes seven minutes 31 there you go it's another one crossed off <clears throat> So I've got 12 unique numbers now. Yeah, so it's not a bad one, this one. It's quite a good one. I do like it, but it's just a bit time consuming. So if you're in a rush, um, then this is probably not the tool for you, unless... The, the way of speeding this process up is to bring up the statistics, go back further in the list and start from halfway down on the next line down. So from the 7, your input from 7, so 7, 16, 14, 22, 17, 1, 5, 2, 28, 2, 10, 14, 33, 28, 18, 2, 16 and 31. So you start from here to speed the process up. That was manipulated spin to number 3. It was definitely manipulated. 100%. That was naughty. So that gets rid of those two. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers in a row. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers in a row. Seven and nine, 16 numbers there. Too many. I only need nine numbers. Six, seven, eight, or nine numbers are the values I'd be betting on normally. Sometimes I'll go to 10 like I did on the previous casino, or maybe even 11. But usually I'll do that if I'm in a rush and I want to, you know, do something. 
faster still yet. Manipulation again, 22, that's already landed. So let's see if this um, does the business. So we're looking for um, we're looking for any number that's not yet been crossed off on the racetrack on the tool. So it, it count, counts up all the different numbers. Unique numbers are numbers that are all different from each other that have been crossed off. And it's going to add an increment of a value of 1 each time it crosses off a new number that's not yet been crossed off. We're looking to get to 18 ideally. So then assess where we can place bets. Oh, that's manipulating 36. That's another number. Look, that's right in the center. That's pretty good because that splits quite a few areas up there. That's what you want to see. You want to, I want to see it hit 15 or 19 next as well, which it's probably going to do. So 36, that's 14 crossed off. So now I'm going to count again. I've got seven here, seven numbers in a row. Then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 11 in total. And then 12, 13, 14, 15 numbers total. 4 there, 4 there, 7 there. 7 at 8, 15 numbers total. We want to wh wh whittle that down a little bit further. So if it hits the 3, sorry, if it hits the 8 or the 30, it'll get rid of 4. If it hits the 27 or 6, it gets rid of those 4. Um, if it hits... 19 or 32 it gets rid of three there but well, two from that so this is looking interesting now yeah it's hitting in the range where we want to get rid of numbers there you go six that gets rid of all those four numbers because when i click six there's no three in a row now it's only a two and a one so we've got four here and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 there, which is 11 numbers. So we want to get to 9, but I, I could bet on 11 if I wanted to. But I've got 15 unique counts so far. I'll just try and get another few more numbers crossed off the list, and then I'm going to carry on with this setup. And try and get a hit at 20p stakes. Show you how much the returns you get is on this particular setup. Hopefully, because I could still lose. It is still gambling. Nothing's ever guaranteed when you gamble. Please remember that. Don't look at my tools and think you're guaranteed to win because I'm winning. Because I think some people think that. And why would you think that? It's just not. It's just not how it works. You know. Thirty-three. We've already had that one. The tools I've developed are uh, the way that I like to play. I've had a lot of success using the, all the tools that I've developed. Otherwise, I wouldn't put the time and effort and energy into making them and de developing them because it takes quite a long time to make these. So I wouldn't waste my time doing that if I didn't think it was worthwhile doing it. But having said that, you can also lose. Nothing's ever guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed long-term or anything like that. So these are short-term setups. So if you can get into profit, so if you can put all these numbers in and then you got, you've got an output where you can place bets um, and the output's going to be a maximum of nine numbers or a minimum of six, so six, seven, eight or nine numbers betting on the numbers that haven't hit for three in a row or greater, um, then and you get your hit, fantastic, job done, which is exactly what I'm showing on my channel across multiple casinos. So, yeah. Number nine. Nine's a fresh number, look. That's going to cross that one out. So I've got two more numbers to cross off. Hopefully it's going to cross them off in this range here. So if it crosses off, let's say, 15, that'll give me three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten numbers. And I'll cover ten numbers. Because it's close enough to the nine, which is the maximum. So this is an, an estimation. I've got two more numbers to be crossed off that um, haven't yet been crossed off as well. I'm hoping this is going to hit straight away, which is going to be fantastic if it does. I'll be buzzing if it hits straight away. Because there's nothing worse when you're waiting and waiting and waiting. You place the bets and you just can't get your bloody hits. It's really annoying.
number five. We've already had number five. That's there. So this might, from the five, might go um, down here, around this range, 23, 8, 30, or the 11, or even the 24 is a possibility from this particular setup. I'd say 24, 23, 8, 30, or the 11 for a hit. Ideally, the 8, 30, because that gets rid of four. Then I've, then I've got this range here to bet on, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers in a row. So if it hits the if it hits the thirty or the eight, I can get rid of four numbers there, and the area that I'm going to be betting on is here, to the right of twenty six. So nineteen, well fifteen neighbor would be the bet with three either side, seven numbers in a row. So eight or thirty. No, nope. number three that's already landed. So this is what I'm talking about when it takes a little bit of time to place bets. Um, so to speed this process up, I'll show you again. Hit the st st statistics and then go to the last rounds. Go halfway down the list here. Start inputting from halfway down from that left to the left, basically. That's the most recent to here. And if you input halfway down the next line, you'll speed up this process. So you'll be at this value already. So you'll just be waiting for two, two numbers. however long it takes you to input all those numbers which is like about two minutes worth of clicking that'll speed the process up for you if you wanted to speed it up here we go anywhere near zero no nope. 14 we've already had that so it's looking like it's hitting in this range here so you could use this in a different format you could actually look at where it's hitting what the trend is from this and betting that range of numbers that's another thing you can do. So you don't have to use it in the way that I'm using this tool. It's the same for every tool I've developed. You know, you don't have to use it in the way that I'm using it. You can make your own gameplay up around the information that the tool's giving you. So, you know, people do that. People have told me they use it in different ways. They use the missing section in a different way to what I use it. They use the... Um, uh, quadrant tool they use that in a different way some people have used that in a different way to what I use it and they've commented in on the uh, um, on the videos and stuff and sent me emails and all sorts of stuff so yeah whatever you find works best for you we typically stick to doing that here we go see that was a pocket push number 21 boom so now that gets rid of that number so one two three four five six numbers in a row and we've got 4, which is 10. I'm going to bet now because I've got 10 numbers. So I'm going to do the 8 neighbor and add in at number 11. The 11. And I'm going to do the 19 and the 0. There you go. So I've got 6 around here and 4 there, which is 10, which is a £2 bet. I'm not at 18, but it doesn't matter. I'm close enough. Um, I've got six in a row here, and that 21 landing as it did, and it was a pocket push. That's going to bring in the four or the 19 within a couple of spins, but it could go down here anyway from that position, so 23 might be a hit anyway. If this hits, it's profit, and that's a stop. So anywhere near the eight or the 15. Nearly 23. Oh, that was a manipulated spin to 24. It bobbled into 24. Well, this is good. Now we're at 18, so this is the bet I should be placing... This is the time I should be doing it anyway. <clears throat> the only reason I went a little bit earlier was because of that 21 and how the ball landed in 21. That was the uh, trigger for me to play a bit. Second bet coming up. £2 profit. Uh, £2 stake. If this hits, it's job done, basically. So, 18 different numbers. I'm on 26 through to 4. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers in a row. And I've got 4 in a row down here. 23, 8, 13, 11. <clears throat> So 24 might go to 15, and if it does, it's profit and stop. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm looking for anywhere near the 8, anywhere near the 15 on this spin. And we change tables. Oh, sorry, casinos. Oh, that that bobbled. It, watch where it, how it lands, number 12. Watch how it lands. It's, but if it's bobbling, it's not good. 
Get in my number bounds. Not a little bounce. Third bet coming up. Let's go. <clears throat> I think if this hits and I'm close to my target, I'm stopping. I think this could be target, actually. If this misses, I double up. Let's go. Hit that 15. Hit that 30 or the 8. 15, 30 or 8 or the neighbours. Let's go. 15, 30 or 8. Oh, it's not hitting the 8, is it? It's just been an absolute shit. <clears throat> so, this is being awkward. Now I'm going to double up. Now this is where I start increasing the stakes. Which is annoying. Because it's going to cost me £4 now. Because I started at 20 pence. Because this casino is a 20 pence minimum. So this has to hit. If this hits now on this double up, I get the same. I get the same type of return as I would do if I hit on my first spin at 20p stakes. So this is going to give me the same type of return as betting on a 20p stake on my first bet. Fair number. <clears throat> so I need this one to hit. So 23, 8, 30, 11, or 4, 19, 15, 32, 0, 26. This is the fourth bet. Come on. Hit this one. Went the wrong way, number one. Boo. So this is now going to be... Um, I'm adding an extra 20 pence every time I lose from this position. So this is going to cost me another... Well, it's going to cost me £6. I've only got £10 left, so I need to hit on this spin, ideally. So, repeat. Add a chip to each number. Once I've done that... Uh, here we go. So this is not looking good unless it lands. I've only got four pounds remaining. And if this misses, I'm stopping. I'm going to take a loss of sixteen pounds. But you know, this is it. This is what you've got to um, work out whether it's worth pursuing or not for you and the bankroll that you've got. I'm carrying on because I think it's going to hit from that one close to thirty-six, maybe the eleven that's going to hit, or up to four. See if it hits or misses. Ta da! There you go, number eight. That is a winning spin. So that's going to give me a decent return. Number eight landed. Click that. Click menu. There we go. So that's going to update. There you go. Now I've got £5.60. But again, I've got lucky there. So I would say hitting. You're lucky if you hit, and if you, you're unlucky if you miss. So I've got £25.60, so £5.60 profit. Bring up the sheet, there you go. So I've just made £8.80. Took half an hour to get that. So like I say, I'm going to speed up the next next round at the, different, at the next casino. I'm going to cross out of this casino in the background. If it lets me, it won't let me, it never lets me on this. I'm really annoying. To edit the fucking... Address bar. Fucking annoying. Um, withdraw. Withdraw again. So 25.60 and withdrawing in the background. You just can't see that, but that's what I'm doing. You don't need to see it. I'm just, I'm just withdrawing, that's what I'm doing. So that's that done. Log out of that. Job done. Now I'm going to bring up the next casino. Uh, load up a table first to make sure I can get on it. Make sure it loads, otherwise, if it doesn't load, I'm gonna bring. No, it's not loaded. So, got to go to. Maybe now, let's just go back to this one. Just bear with me. Uh, return to home page. So, what I'm doing in the background, I'm just following what it says because it's not loading up. Because I've not been on for long enough. I've been away from that casino for 32 minutes, so it's probably just gone. Hang on a minute. Is there anybody there? I'll log back in again. So that's all I'm doing now. Logging back in. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, hello. Very nice. 
10p stakes. I'm going to input the numbers further back from the history. Now, the, the history on this one's behind the tool. Um, so I'm going to go a line down from the history of numbers. So it's behind the tool. If I just move, if I move the well, if I just look at the tool, it's gone. There you go. There's a history of numbers. I'm going to start from here, from 13, the second number down here. I'm going to input from 13 that way all the way to the beginning into the tool. So 13, 2, 13, 2, 7, 8, 5, 35, 14, 18. This is just speeding up the process. You're putting numbers in from further back in the history. And this might give you what you want to get out of it sooner, maybe. So I need another four numbers to input, and that's it. Four more numbers. And see if I can get a uh, some wins. 24, click that. Another number. So three more numbers. So let's just see where I can place bets. So I've got 31, 9, 22. That's three. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 there. That's 11. That's 11 numbers. So nine there, but... And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 3 to 21, and 9 neighbor. That would be the bet at the minute. So we're just looking for 3 more numbers. Although there, there are 11 numbers. I could actually go now, to be fair. Well, there you go. 31 gets rid of those 2 numbers. So now I'm going to, I'm going to place my bet now. Because I've got all these numbers in a row here, which is... Um, that's pretty good. So 3... And then the 21. So I'm jumping on now, even though it's only 16. Uh, because this is the only range that's not yet hit. And that's 8 numbers in a row. That's less than the 9. So this is why I'm jumping on now. 3 through to 21. First bet. Oh, one off look. Uh, that's a bit a bit, that's a bit cheeky, that. I would call that a cheeky spin. Because it was one off, right? Repeat the bet. Because it's one off. If it's one off on this side, if it's 35 next, that's a piss take. So these tables do take the piss like that. They'll zoom into your pocket, which will be one off. I'm in a range of numbers. Let's say I've got number all the way through to 21. Then that was missing. Then I've got all the numbers down here. It would go to the missing number, 100%. 33. This is my third bet. I am covering eight numbers. So I can actually give this four bets. At a flat rate uh, before I start doubling up. So I don't have to double up on my fourth, I can double up on my fifth. Um, but typically I'll double up on my fourth anyway. I'll, I'll double up sooner or increase sooner, not necessarily double up. I'm just adding an extra chip. So 3 through to 21. Right, this is going to hit my number, definitely. Why do I think that? I'll tell you in a second. Pete double here we go so this is going to hit so it's been 33 and it's been 14 it's, it's in that same range it's going to go around here next or it's going to go down here it's going to be 36 neighbor or up to where i'm betting 21 to 3 boom there you go 32 thank you very much and that was a double up so this is going to give me a decent amount of profit three pounds 20 job done so, happy with that, absolutely. 23.20, so I've made £12 profit across three casinos. I could stop at that because that's a comfortable amount, £12, happy with that. Uh, I am going to switch to another casino. So in the background, all I'm doing, I'm refreshing the data on the, on the casino's balance and then withdraw 23.20. That's all I'm doing in the background. Uh, confirm that. That's withdrawing, go back to the casino, log out of it. There you go, that's that done. Now I'm going to go to the final casino. And we're going to play again. Uh, let's see if, see if it loads it loads up or not. Yep, it does. Right. Games, roulette. That's out of that. Um, we'll play the automated one. 
to his HD and I'll bring you into the casino any second. Once I get the overlay set up. Here we go, so this is the fourth and final casino. I'm going to speed up the process again by going to the last round. I'm going to go halfway down the list and input it into the tool. So from 20, so we'll go 20, 22, 0, uh, 26, 28, number 7, number 35, number 20, 31, 29, 12, 9, 29, 25, uh, 13, 11, 13, 11, 30, number 20, number 13. Right, so I've, I've input 15 unique numbers from the history. So I've caught up with the history. Put the neighbours down to 1. Is this going 25 again? So I've got 8, 23, 10, all the way through to 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers there. 4 here, that's 12. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 there. That's 18 numbers that have yet to hit. That I've not. That I, that are three num three or more numbers in a row or greater. So there's too many numbers for me to bet on there at this level of uh, unique number count. You want it as close to nine as possible. Thirty-three. That gets rid of that number. That's two numbers that gets rid of the one and the thirty-three. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in a row. Four there, which is ten. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixteen numbers. That. That's sixteen numbers where I can potentially bet on. But at the minute, we don't want to bet on those just yet. So this is the final casino that I'm doing this on using this A69 or AWOL69 roulette tool by Roulette Profit and Stop. And we're looking for number two. two. That's another number I can get rid of. So that gets that one crossed off. So one, two, three, four, five in a row. Four in a row. That's nine. Then we've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 numbers. And I'm at 17 uniques. I, need, I really need to hit a number in the middle of the range. If it hits 34 or 6, that gets rid of 4 numbers. If it hits 19, that gets rid of all those 5 numbers. So if it hits 19, 6 or 34, that'll get rid of a lot of numbers and then I can start placing bets. Thirteen. Uh, that's already been crossed off. So... Five will get rid of the 16, 24, and 5. That's three down. Then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I could bet on 12. If, I get, if it hits the 19, that gets rid of all five of those. And I've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's, that's a good enough amount to bet on. 10 numbers. Um, but let's see what happens. Twenty-four. There you go. We'll get rid of that. Bosh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen numbers. I'm gonna wait. It's got a yellow ring around that eighteen to say we've crossed off eighteen uniques. Look at see if you can place bets. I've got too many numbers yet. I want to get it closer to nine numbers. I've got one, two, three, four there. Four here. That's eight. And I've got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen numbers. But if it hits the the nineteen or the four. Three. That's a unique. Please so if it hits nineteen or four, that'll give me. Th if it hits the bets well, if it hits the nineteen, it gets rid of five numbers, and I can place bets on these. That'll be eight. No more or if it hits the ten, twenty-three, six, thirty-four, I can bet on the rest of them. So ten, twenty-three, six, thirty-four, nineteen. Any of those numbers hitting, I can place a bet. 19, there we go. This is now my bet, because that gets rid of those. So I'm going to do 6 neighbour, plus the 17, and the, t the 10 neighbour, plus the 8. There you go, so I've got 8 numbers covered. 5, 10, 23 and 8, so that's 4 in a row. 
and 27, 6, 34, 17, because that's four in a row. Everywhere else is two numbers or less, which I don't bet on. I've got eight numbers covered. This is my first bet. Let's see if I can catch a win straight away. So anywhere near 23 or 34. That's a miss. Seven. Seven. Click Red. that. Repeat the bet. Same stake. I will increase on the fourth bet, even though I'm only covering eight numbers. I don't need. I don't need to increase it on the fourth. I can actually wait. Closing. Which is what I'm going to be doing. No, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be increasing it on the fourth. Increase it on the fourth. Double up. So this is my second bet. I'm on. Um, 17, 34, 6, 27, 8, 23, 10, and 5. Here we go. Here we go. 36. That's another unique number in the range I'm betting. That's really good. So now I know it's going to hit. This is going to hit within a couple of spins. This is now my um, third bet. This is the third bet. So it's either going to hit on this spin or the next couple of spins. Hopefully it misses on this and I can double up and get a hit on the next spin. But 23 or 6 neighbor. 23 neighbor, 6 neighbor. Right, brilliant. It's missed. Fantastic. 28. Click on that. Now I'm going to double up. This is my fourth bet. Repeat. Double. So every time I lose from this position, I'm just going to add an e repeat the bet and add an extra chip per number. So this is where I want it to hit now on this spin. So maybe 27 or uh, the 5 from this position. 27 or 5 for a hit potentially. But I've got 5, 10, 23 and 8, 27, 6, 34, 17. Six, there you go. Six. Boom. There's my win. You win. Thank you very much. I've got another £3.20, so I'm absolutely buzzing. So back up, back up to the sheet. So I've, I've used this tool throughout. And I've made very similar returns, apart from the second casino, which was a 20 pence stake. So the, all three casinos, 2320, 2320, 2320, and 2560. That was a 20p stake. 10 pence stake, 10 pence stake, 10 pence stake. So I've made £15.20. Watch this daily average diff differ now. I'm going to click the tick checkbox. Boom. So it's going to dip down daily average to 14.52, my daily average now. But um, I've just made 15.20. Now I've made £246.76 in 17 days. Small stakes, low values of return of profit. They do add up. I've had a couple of times when I've gone bust. Um, once, twice three times where I'm not able to get a win out of a lot more wins, basically a lot more times of winning. I've removed one of the casinos because I'm going to do a, a sports bet on that. That's why I'm not placing any bets on that. So I'm going to go down to just three casinos, or well, four casinos now. I might even whittle it down further, the, the further in that I get. I don't know. But, but that is me done. 246.76. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your time. I hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, don't forget to check out the website, which will be linked in the description below and underneath the main header on my YouTube channel. And give it a subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And give it a thumbs up. Thanks again. See you again soon.